Hey, what's up? It's Triggy. I was doing some cardio at the gym, and I was staring at the numbers and waiting and staring at the numbers and waiting, staring at the numbers and waiting, and was like, this is kind of boring. And I thought back to playing quad ball or going biking through the park and having a blast the whole time thinking, this is just great, and not even realizing that I'm exercising. Not long after, on the way home, I see this miniature stationary bike just up for grabs, and I'm like, perfect, this gives me an idea. You see, every minute that I spend exercising is a minute that I'm not playing video games, and that is a problem. What if I could put them together? So, I'm going to transform this ordinary exercise bike into a gaming machine. First, let's take a closer look at this device. I'm hoping to find some indication that this machine measures power output so I can hack into that value. But this machine looks pretty basic. It does estimate calories, which is a form of power output, but it increases at the same rate regardless of what I set these pedals to, so it looks like a lot to work with RPM. If we open it up, we see the pedals attached to a flywheel, and resistance is provided by this fabric cable. Rotating the style increases the tension on this spring, which pulls the fabric tighter onto the flywheel, meaning more friction and therefore more resistance. Cool, but there don't seem to be any electronics in here. All of the electronics are up here behind the display. Now, I'm looking first and foremost for sensors. It looks like the only sensor in this guy is a magnetic sensor called a reed switch. It detects the presence of a magnetic field. If we take a closer look at the flywheel, we see an embedded magnet, which must trigger the reed switch every time the wheel makes a rotation. So that measures RPM. We can go ahead and disconnect that reed switch from the native electronics and connect it to our own electronics, namely this Arduino. We'll set the Arduino to write a zero to the serial port if there's no magnet detected and a one if a magnet is detected. Then I can write some Python code to read what's in the serial port and check when that zero changes to a one. We can measure the time between each change and then we have RPM. In order to connect to a video game, I'm gonna have the RPM connect to the up arrow key. The up arrow key controls the accelerator in Need for Speed Most Wanted. In order to have the speed of the car change according to how fast I'm pedaling, I'll have the up arrow key be pressed and released at different rates depending on how fast I'm pedaling. Time to give it a test. I've got the Arduino powered and I've got the program running. And we can actually test it right here. If I pedal, the cursor moves up the screen the same way it would if I were to be pressing the up arrow key. We can also check the terminal output where I've made some print statements to report our RPM, and we see that everything looks to be working. So, now let's switch over to Need for Speed. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Up the stairs. <laughs> yes. But of course I'm gonna think it's sweet. I made the thing. So let's see what some friends make of it. And könntest du das auch aktivieren und einen gewissen Widerstand erzeugen? Widerstand kann man erzeugen dadurch, dass man das Ding dreht. Also das ist uh, unabhängig von komplett von. Also so würde ich auf jeden Fall sehr viel Sport machen. Finish six, that's fine. So, einfach irgendwelche probieren? Ja, also das ist Medium Schwierigkeit. Ja, gut. <lacht> weißt du, was am coolsten wäre? Was für ein coolsten? Ein Controller statt ein Keyboard. Das wäre gar nicht theoretisch nicht so schwierig, ne? Ich Nein, eigentlich nicht, nicht, ne? Wie lange dauert das? Sehr schnell eigentlich. Sehr schnell eigentlich. One hour later. Ah ja, die haben bei mir auch, glaube ich, so Driver installiert, bevor es funktioniert. One eternity later. Kannst kurz googeln oder lass mir das? Ja, ja, aber das ist kein Driver. Ja. Das funktioniert. Okay, jetzt geht's. Nein! <lacht> <laughs> okay, I would say that project was overall a success. I had a lot of fun building it, I had a lot of fun playing it, and it seemed like my friends had fun with it too. So all around, I'd say, pretty good. I've got a number of other projects in the works, so if you like this kind of content, be sure to check out the channel, subscribe for future updates, and I'll see you next time.